welcome to the Louisiana Business and Industry Show. And now, your host, Tim Johnson. Welcome to the Louisiana Business and Industry Show. The Louisiana Secretary of State oversees and ensures the integrity of Louisiana's elections. The office also provides critical business services for the state and is an important part of Louisiana's growing economy. Louisiana Secretary of State Tom Shedler joins us when we return on the Louisiana Business and Industry Show. The Louisiana Business and Industry Show will be back right after this. Founded in 1984, Big Alliance and its subsidiaries connect business and industry buyers and suppliers with one another for the betterment of all. BIC helps companies grow in three ways. Aggressive sales and marketing campaigns in BIC Magazine, finding the right people through BIC recruiting, and by merger and acquisition and related services through IBS Investment Banking. Contact BIC Alliance today. The funny thing about Louisiana is that people don't often ask you why you moved home. They just accept it as the most natural thing in the world. Because of course I would want to move back home and be near my tribe, be in this beautiful landscape. It just inspires me. Whether it's a golden marshland, an expanse of sugarcane fields, a sunset through a cypress swamp, the outdoors here really are like nowhere else. You can start your day off paddling at Lake Martin, finish it off with music at the Blue Moon. I came home for my dream job, but also because I believe in Louisiana and where it's going. We're building a world-class central park in Louisiana, planned by the members of this community. And I just bought my dream home, a sustainable house designed and built by the architecture students here at the university. My electricity bill was $30 last month. The life I thought I would have in Austin is actually happening right here in Louisiana. I'm E.B. Brooks. I have the job I want and the place I love. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete in everyone, from the soccer star to the soccer mom. If your doctor prescribes physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, getting you back in the game of life. Consumers and property owners with a construction project can have a very successful result or a regretful experience that could have been avoided. Before beginning any construction project in Louisiana, verify licensure of the contractor and check references. Scammers may claim to be licensed or bonded, but you should ask for a copy of the license. For additional information, contact the Louisiana State Licensing Board for Contractors or go to the website lslbc.louisiana.gov. License and qualified contractors. It's the law. Welcome back to the Louisiana Business and Industry Show with Tim Johnson. Welcome back to the Louisiana Business and Industry Show. I'm very pleased to welcome to the show Secretary of State Tom Shedler. Tom, welcome. Yeah, great to be with you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, we always start with a little background, a little okay. human interest. Tell us who Tom Shedler is. Tell us a little bit about your background, and then we'll discuss your political okay, career, well, too. Okay, uh, well, as your viewing audience will certainly learn with this accent, I'm from New Orleans, born and raised, and uh, lived there. I, I went to De La Salle High School and then went to UL, uh, then USL in Lafayette. I uh, met my uh, one and only wife, uh, Stephanie, uh, there. We'll be married 43 years in January. Uh, three beautiful daughters, all resembling her. Thank God, and four beautiful grandchildren. So, been very blessed. Uh, my background has been uh, banking. Uh, I'm a licensed real estate broker. Uh, was a bank president. A uh, little stint uh, healthcare uh, with a local hospital. And uh, politically, uh, I started out literally as a homeowner president. Uh, I guess I got my uh, palate wet. And uh, then was a zoning variance chairman uh, in St. Tammany Parish, uh, councilman. Uh, and then state senator for 12 years, as you know, representing St. Tammany and parts of Tangipahoa Parish. And uh, term limited, uh, Jay Darden asked me to be his number two first assistant uh, when he was Secretary of State. Did that for three years, and then the rest is history. Uh, uh, became appointed when he became a lieutenant governor and then ran and is currently in my first uh, term as elected officer. Yeah, won, won an election in your own right. Yeah. But uh, 
Uh, if I recall the story correctly, because you were on the radio show, yeah. uh, you didn't say yes to Jay right away. No, not, not at all. I just was very hesitant. I was ready to go back home and, uh, and get back in business with my brother in real estate, and, and my wife and I own hospice programs in Mississippi, Louisiana. It's primarily her business, but nonetheless, I was looking forward to doing that. I had had enough of elected life, and uh, he coached me into, uh, after several requests to come join him, and I did, and I never regretted it. It's been great. His success has become my success. Well, he's, he's a great friend of both yes, of ours yes, and, and a great public so. servant in our state, and, and I know we're going to see more from, from Jay Darden as we go along. You know, the legislature, the Louisiana Senate in particular, is a pretty interesting place at <laughs> times. So I know that, uh, you know, there are always great stories that come out of the legislature. Yeah. Tell us one of your favorites. Well, I'll tell you, I think on our, on our radio, uh, uh, interview we did recently, I gave you the one of, of, of witnessing James David came and Foster Campbell in one of the last really stomps, I think, uh, of old politics in Louisiana with uh, two uh, bond stormers and preacher types. Uh, I'll tell you one in addition so we won't bore the same listening audience. Uh, Ann DePlessis, who is now the uh, Board of Supervisors Chairman, first female uh, LSU. at LSU. Yeah. Uh, I'm very good friends with her, and I'll never forget we got into a heated battle uh, one time over the uh, post Katrina uh, regarding the uh, home ownership program, where I thought that we should contract with bankers who knew something about mortgage lending and could uh, school people in an appropriate way in their which way to go instead of just trying to train people in maybe a two day course. Uh, to do something as important as, as advising people. And we got into a little bit of a debate on that and uh, a little hostile, and it was the day before Valentine's Day, and I remember Ian bringing me a Valentine's the next day, and each and every Valentine's now we wish happy Valentine's Day to one another. And she's a sweetheart, I love her, and uh, it, it's just a little funny thing that you carry on even beyond your term in, in this, the state senate. One of the things I guess that folks mm -hmm. may not always recognize mm -hmm. is that while there are often heated and uh, sometimes partisan right. uh, debates that go on in the Louisiana legislature. Generally, people get along very yes. well. You yes, become yes. friends. Although, and you, Tim, I, w I will tell you, I see, a, unfortunately, a little bit of a change there. I you know, I, I know w when I served and I, I finished up uh, uh, January 08, um, you know, you're correct. I mean, you could have a knockdown drag out, and then we would have things at the Pentagon, uh, barbecue and hamburgers, or whatever it may be, or you'd see guys that were on the floor debating pretty vigorously uh, out at a restaurant having dinner together. I don't see that anymore, and I think that's unfortunate. You know, you, you get to know a guy or a lady that you're serving with, you know about their family, you meet their wife, you meet their kids. You have a tendency to know what they're about. I, I, I see a lot of people going home after the session in a day, or they, they take those things so personally that it carries over into the outside, and I think that affects the type of legislation we have. I don't think there's any question but that we've had a general loss of civility in legislative bodies across the board. No if you doubt. look at what's going on in Washington and the polarization right. that exists there and the constant sniping between right. the parties, and you know, we always prided ourselves in Louisiana no that we weren't no partisan, that no we doubt. didn't do those sort of things. I can remember, you know, our, our, our good friend John Hankel as a Republican being president of a, right. of a House of Representatives that was 75 percent Democrat. That's correct. You just wouldn't see that anymore, and it, and it is unfortunate. We got about two minutes left, a little more in this segment, so I want to jump into the Secretary of State's office. We're going to talk a lot about the elections that are coming up in the next segment, but. For our viewers who may not be aware, Tom, give them an overview of the Secretary of State's office and your responsibilities. Well, number one, you pointed it out, and we'll talk about it next, elections. I'm Chief Elections Officer. I don't do it by myself. I do it in conjunction with an elected clerk of court and a appointed register of vote in each and every parish, and we do a good job. We also are in charge of the commercial division, the, the filings of the LLC, corporate documents, and those similar activities. Uh, we are also the state archivist. Uh, and we also have 17 museums. We do things like notary publics, uh, non-attorney notary publics. So we even have a program for battered women. If a court orders mail be delivered to my office, we get that mail in a secured envelope to that uh, woman. Uh, so a lot of little programs like that. We do an ag report for bankers for securitization of crops. Uh, people would go, what, Secretary of State's office? Uh, we're talking to the contractors board right now about trying to coordinate issues with 
uh, contracting board to let people know that, hey, this is a legitimate contractor and they're paying taxes to Tim Barfield over at the Department of Revenue. So we have a meeting on that tomorrow. So uh, a lot of good things that people would not necessarily uh, depict at Secretary of State. Well, office. and one, one of the things that I think is important, and quite frankly, mm -hmm. as a business person in Louisiana, I've experienced is, is the level of customer service in your office. Well, We've got you. about 40 seconds left yeah, or well, so. Well, Just let me say touch this. on uh, that I'm customer service. I'm an ex-bank president, and the worst thing an employee wants to be called into my office for is you weren't polite to a customer. Uh, we take great pride in that. Even if it's not in the Secretary of State's, direct them, make the call, try to assist them, and we've had great success with that. And as you know, we're on, unfolding in March or April next year that Go, I mean, that go Biz program. Right. We're a true one-stop shop. You'll do everything at my office. You'll download it at night. Tim <laughs> Barfield and Workforce will come in. You don't have to go see them, and they'll mail you coupon books to give you the right to pay those glorious taxes. It's, it's good <laughs> stuff and, yeah. and stuff that a lot of folks don't yeah. recognize, but I can personally vouch for that customer service. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. I want to, yeah. uh, unless you're sleeping under a rock, you know there's a pretty big election <laughs> coming yeah. up in the state of Just Louisiana, and in fact, nationwide. We'll talk about the details of that Thank when you. we come back. We're visiting with Tom Shedler. He's the Louisiana Secretary of State, and you're watching the Louisiana Business and Industry Show on Cox 4. The Louisiana Business and Industry Show will be back right after this. Big Media Solutions is a marketing and communication, media advisory, and event planning company within Big Alliance. Big Media Solutions offers custom book publishing, event planning, and keynote speaking to its clients in the business and industrial sector and marketing partnerships to others in publishing. Bic Alliance is your business and industry connection. Contact Bic Alliance today. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete in everyone, from the grand slam hitter to grandparents. If your doctor prescribes physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, getting you back in the game of life. Consumers and property owners with a construction project can have a very successful result or a regretful experience that could have been avoided. Before beginning any construction project in Louisiana, verify licensure of the contractor and check references. Scammers may claim to be licensed or bonded, but you should ask for a copy of the license. For additional information, contact the Louisiana State Licensing Board for Contractors or go to the website lslbc.louisiana.gov. License and qualified contractors. It's the law. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete in everyone, from the three-point shooter to the three-piece suit. If your doctor prescribes physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, getting you back in the game of life. Welcome back to the Louisiana Business and Industry Show with Tim Johnson. Welcome back to the Louisiana Business and Industry Show. Good conversation with Louisiana Secretary of State Tom Shedler. Tom, we mentioned uh, as we were going to break um, that you guys play a critical role in managing uh, not only the infrastructure of Louisiana's elections, the integrity of Louisiana's elections. It is your office's primary responsibility in terms of uh, keeping that machine rolling. So let's talk about the November 4th elections coming up the magnitude of them, but give us an idea uh, of, of the kind of work that's going on in your office to prepare. Uh, 12 and 13 hour days. I tell individuals, you know, qualifying opened on uh, August uh, 20th to the 22nd. Uh, lead up to that, we were working 30, 60 days ahead of that uh, as a huge lead up. And when those doors closed at 4.30, my staff worked all weekend, including Sunday, probably to 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Uh, and did so the continuing week and I think uh, the following weekend and then started taking off Sundays. Uh, it's nonstop, you know, we have to build the ballot. A lot of people always joke, you know, you go in and you vote, whether it be early voting or voting day. Looks real simple and you see it on the screen on the, on the night and you go, okay, the election's over. Uh, it continues for us. Uh, we had a record setting, I think the largest election we've had in some two decades, 4,400 candidates. 2,400 positions wow. at play, 14 constitutional amendments, and I urge the voters, if you have not voted yet and you're waiting until November 4th, consult and look at those amendments so you don't spend an inordinate amount of time uh, in the booth. Uh, I urge you to go to that GoVote app, G-E-A-U-X app, and 
you can mock vote that and take that in there as a model to as a courtesy to those behind you. But it's a lot, a lot of work, and uh, and you got to credit a lot of ladies in that department have been with this department uh, going back. Uh, I think there's one left from Wade O'Martin, uh, but uh, dominantly with Fox and Al Ader and everyone. And, uh, I, there's a saying, Jay Darden told me when I came to work for him, look, they know what they're doing, stay out of their way. If they need us, they'll call us. All you can do is mess it up. So uh, we've, we've abided by that. Yeah, and I, you mentioned it, and we talk about it, that, that, that the general public really doesn't have a full idea of the no. magnitude of the work that goes on to, to, to hold uh, an election and maintain the integrity of the process, That's right? It. So talk integrity. about that aspect of well, it. Well, and, and that is of paramount importance, and I want to tell you on that note, uh, we just got pulled up from like mid-40s two or three years ago to number 18 by Pew Foundation. Uh, and, and, you know, Pew is not indicative of Louisiana type of politics, so it'll be rated, you know, Heritage mm -hmm. puts just high marks, but for Pew to put us there, that says a lot. And uh, uh, we're no longer what we consider in a southern pack. I mean, no disparity to any of my southern states, but, uh, you know, it's a good thing uh, that we're out of that. And, uh, but it, it, we, we put a lot of emphasis on that. We put a lot of emphasis on fraud investigation or any alleged voter fraud. Uh, the process is sound. The machine counts have never been at error in the last uh, 15, 20 years. Uh, but we always do have a machine malfunction that we've got to pull out of line or things that we do, but we're equipped for plan A, B, and C. We quickly move to another machine or we move to a paper ballot if we have to temporarily. We know because of the critical nature of the U.S. Senate election in Louisiana between Mary Landrieu and Bill Cassidy and Rob Manis that there are going to be a lot of eyes on Louisiana. Uh, there are many political pundits across the country that say that this race in our state uh, could be what determines the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. And so I know you guys are focused on that in terms of the integrity of the election. I know you being, you're probably going to be interviewed a lot, but, but that's a critically important thing when we know the eyes of the nation will be on well, Louisiana. Tim, uh, let me say this. Uh, we've got over 30 uh, news media that already uh, have signed up to be in our office. We'll have some 22 satellite trucks. We've never had more than, I think, three or four before. Uh, international press, we had Japanese visitors, Australians, English. Uh, Washington Post, New York Times, CNN, Fox News, They're even, all even some Middle Eastern uh, networks I'll leave unmentioned that will be in our location in Baton Rouge here uh, next Tuesday night and uh, all eyes will be upon us for the reasons you just disclosed and it's a great time though I look at it very positively we had a for all practical purposes a flawless early voting process uh, a few minor problems but nothing that we don't deal with in any in election but Tuesday night is an issue for us to show to the nation and to everyone else that Louisiana knows how to do it right. I'm urging people to get out and vote so we can break my prediction. I'd love to be wrong with that 52 53% voter turnout prediction. Make me wrong and let's try to get it up there to mid 60s and show the nation that we mean business and we have a very democratic sound process. Well, and that really is when you when you think about a 50% turnout in an election like this and we got about 2 minutes yeah. left, so I want you to just hit on this briefly, but you guys are doing a lot within your office to try to encourage greater voter turnout. Talk about those efforts. We do. Efforts We're a out bit. there. We do these types of shows. I mean, I've probably done uh, 35 radio, TV shows, and the like, newspaper articles in the last uh, just last seven or ten days. Uh, we had that Honor Vets program, this lapel pin that's on my lapel here of honor a veteran with your vote, just a symbolic way, nonpartisan, uh, to be able to say, hey, if you don't like the candidates, don't like the Brazil, you're going to at least be respectful for the men and women who allow you to have this free democracy and, and the like. And I often give that example of those soldiers over there giving countries first right to vote, putting their finger in ink and risking that finger being removed. And here in this country where there's nobody blocking the precinct for you to go in and vote, we've got to clamor and beat people to death to come out to break 50 percent. That's embarrassing. It, and, it uh, really is. And, and, and the hope is, is that the efforts that we see not just by your office, but offices uh, like yours across mm -hmm. the country. Uh, you know, a lot of national efforts. Right. About 30 seconds left, though, in this segment. I want you to hit on this briefly, maybe 45. I know that a lot of these third-party groups that are coming into the state trying to register people can be a little bit dangerous, and I know you're watching out for them. Very much so, and I'm going to be pressing legislation to force them to register with me that we know who they are. So if you go register with someone at Cortana Mall, for a better a lack of example, and you give them your name, rank, social security number, and your mother's maiden name, 
you know, that we know who they are because if they don't hand in the form to the register to vote and you come show up to vote, you're blaming me because right. you said you registered to vote. You don't register to vote with someone in a, in a mall. You can, but you're allowing them to walk off with the information to do it. You can vote, you can register to vote online in this state. Very simply, you don't need to do that. And I would caution people, think about what you're giving to people that you really don't even know who they are and relying on them to do so. So uh, I would urge people, and, and think about this, this state is ranked third in the nation at 85% of its voters eligible to vote. There's not a lot of universe out there unregistered. I certainly welcome people to register people. We can't stop it. But just caution, caution. We've got to be careful about it. It's very Absolutely. dangerous. We're going to take a break. We come back. I want to get into the business aspect of your okay. office. We're visiting with Tom Shedler. He's the Louisiana Secretary of State, and you're watching the Louisiana Business and Industry Show on Cox 4. The Louisiana Business and Industry Show will be back right after this. Hi, I'm Joe Martin, president of ITI Technical College. Do you want a better life? Get your associate's degree in occupational studies in information technology from ITI. In two years, you'll be on your way to a better life. You will get hands-on specialized training in computers, hardware and software, networking, and more. ITI offers flexible class schedules, and financial aid is available to those who qualify. So don't wait. Call ITI now or go online. It's that simple. ITI for a better life. The funny thing about Louisiana is that people don't often ask you why you moved home. They just accept it as the most natural thing in the world. Because of course I would want to move back home and be near my tribe, be in this beautiful landscape. It just inspires me. Whether it's a golden marshland, an expanse of sugarcane fields, a sunset through a cypress swamp, the outdoors here really are like nowhere else. You can start your day off paddling at Lake Martin, finish it off with music at the Blue Moon. I came home for my dream job, but also because I believe in Louisiana and where it's going. We're building a world-class central park in Louisiana, planned by the members of this community. And I just bought my dream home, a sustainable house designed and built by the architecture students here at the university. My electricity bill was $30 last month. The life I thought I would have in Austin is actually happening right here in Louisiana. I'm E.B. Brooks. I have the job I want and the place I love. Welcome back to the Louisiana Business and Industry Show with Tim Johnson. Welcome back to the Louisiana Business and Industry Show. Our guest is Secretary of State Tom Shedler. Tom, we talked a lot about the elections responsibilities that your office has and the importance of the election that's coming up on November 4th, but a uh, very critical part of your operation is your relationship to business. Absolutely. And uh, quite frankly, with the growth that we're expecting to see in our state, your office will play a critical role there. So give us an overview of what your office does to support small and large businesses. Absolutely. Louisiana. I've said for a long time when I took over that, you know, traditionally Secretary of State would ask you to send in an annual report to, give, to tell me the same things you've been telling me for the last 15 years if you've been in business that long. I always thought we could do more. And uh, we, we started Go Biz, just like we talked in the earlier segment, Go Vote, Go Biz, G-E-A-U-X. If you open up a snowball stand, I always give that example. A lot of times you may know how to mix snowballs and do syrup, but you don't, you're intimidated by the process or mm -hmm. the bureaucracy. You know, $25 to local government, $25 to Paris, $50 here. We now can give you a punch list. You go to the site, put your, your, your name in and where you're going to propose that business and the code for that business that you look up on the chart. It'll give you everything you need from city, parish, state government. Where do I want to take that? In February or March of next year, I will unveil what I believe to be the first true one-stop shop in Louisiana, will be the third state in the country to offer it. You come to my office, file your LLC corporate documents, take those documents to your bank to open up your checking account, but then after that, right now you have to go see revenue, all, give all the same information you just gave me to get a coupon book to pay your tax. You leave him, you go down and see, see Kirk Isaac at Workforce, you get the picture. In February, March, April, no later, you'll be able to give me a little bit more information. I'll drop loaded at night. Those agencies will come in and grab what they need and just mail you the coupon book. 
Uh, we think it'll be a, a cutting out bureaucratic red tape, uh, save a lot of time. And over time, I will tell you, we, we instituted when I came in a new business environment where you can go online for about 80% of the business at my office now. The first seven people that resigned or retired at my office and commercial, I didn't have to replace. Same thing will happen at these other agencies over time. And uh, we're very proud of that. And we'll add things like fire marshal, DEQ, DHH as we move forward once we get the kinks out. Well, we talk and we hear all the time as we look at economic development in our state how critical our business climate is. Absolutely. And, and we've had a constantly improving business climate from a lot of aspe aspects, ethics, taxation, right. regulation. But the things you do in your office are critically important to economic development as well. And I know that when businesses come in, one of the things they look at is how easy is it to do business here? And, and the more you streamline, the more you the support more Stephen do, Moray and, and his we, efforts. We, we get groups that come in, attorneys from all over the country that deal with other states, and we get strong accolades on our website process and service that we offer. And uh, as I indicated to you uh, off air, I believe, you know, we even do an agriculture report for banks to, to securitize uh, crops. I think, you know, think about it. We're the first place that we see, other than Moray's group, of an individual, and suppose you're an insurance business, a banking business, and you want to be the first to contact me about my insurance or my banking services. Think if you could subscribe to a report at Secretary of State in a five parish area of the businesses when they're filing. The advantage you would have. So data is valuable, right. even more so in this, in this world we live in. We think we can offer more, and we're going to be venturing more into that in my next four years. Well, and you're talking about all the things that you're looking at doing going forward. We've got about a minute and a half mm -hmm. left. What else is on the horizon for the Secretary of State's office? Well, you're going to see, and I'll jump back quick to elections. You know, we, um, we, we are, those machines are getting to be about 20 years old, and we're already starting to look at the future machine. Uh, you know about that phone app that we had that we won in the award where you can mock vote, you can look and see how you're raising, you can follow elections. Those are already programmed for the machine of the future, which will be an iPad and an express line. You'll come in and just pass it under. You'll see your vote on the screen. Make sure you don't want to change it. Cast ballot. It'll print you a paper ballot. You look at it again. Make sure it's right. Put it in a secure box in case we have to audit in a close election. When I say future, that's five, four or five years away. But think about what that does. I don't need warehouses anymore at huge cost. I don't need technicians at huge cost. I don't need draymen to bring those out. It goes out on a cart with computers and stands that it's in a van or a back of a truck that's stored at the, at the parish courthouse. So we're looking at that. That's what I see in the future. You can see the theme. Everything with me is technology, bringing it forward and making it quicker. That's what the public wants, and that's what that young voter wants is the more instant gratification of getting it done and what have you, and we've got to look forward as we go forward down the line. Well, great things going yeah. on in the Secretary of State's office, both in terms of how you manage elections and the, and the role you play for businesses in Louisiana. Tom Thank Shetler, you, Tim. Thanks for Enjoyed being with it. us Always today. Always a pleasure. Love forward appreciate to coming you back being with here. you. Thank you. That's a wrap, guys. Thanks for joining us. Join us again uh, at this very same time for another edition of the Louisiana Business and Industry Show on Cox News.